Get ready for the quirkiest hack and slash you've ever seen. I'm the Flannel Fox Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Remy Lore on the Nintendo Switch. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, follow me on twitch.tv slash theflannelfoxgamer, and on Twitter at theflannelfox. Remy Lore is an isometric roguelite anime adventure that puts you in the control of Remy, who awakens Lore, your magical book amigo, who joins you as you battle through the Ragno, a magical mech-ridden world full of procedurally generated battles as you try to escape and defeat the android antagonist, Cho. Each level is a procedurally generated slew of elevated paths leading to compartmentalized battles, which you must win by defeating all the enemies in the enclosed area in order to progress forward. You'll have to explore, sometimes backtracking to find the next area of the act, which is made even more challenging by the fact that you cannot view a holistic level map showing everywhere that you've been. Instead, you see a small locked map in the lower right-hand corner, only showing you a close proximity relative to the player. With a solid combat base, you dash with B, cast magical spells with Y, and attack with different combinations of X and A. As you're performing a combo, the changing button prompt in the upper left corner of the screen updates you to show which combo move can be performed next. Dodging enemies, waiting for them to complete their attacks, then swooping in at the perfect moment feels great with this solid combat foundation. Rose bouquets, balloon swords, oversized flaming hammers, and blood-draining katana blades make slicing through hordes of mech enemies feel so damn good. Seven different types of weapons, all with incredibly different feeling combat playstyles, adds greatly to the replayability and fun factor. It also adds to the roguelike decision making. At first, playing with hammers was not for me, but after picking up the hammer because of its bullet spray magic ability, then learning to love the hammer gameplay was a great intuitive way to push you towards unfamiliar weapon types. What you unlock as you defeat the game on different modes, which there are plenty of in post-game, again adding to the replayability. Magic abilities accompany each weapon. One sword can have a tornado ability, while the next has a slowdown mechanic, bringing those mech enemies to a crawl, ready for slaying. Weapons can also have a passive combat ability, from freezing enemies to draining their lives or again slowing them down. These three different variables of the weapon, passive weapon magic, and magical ability give you literally hundreds of playstyles to learn and adapt to. When kicking tons of mech butt, you'll be picking up desserts they drop, the in-game currency, and it's also how you refill your mana. These desserts can be scooped up from smashed environmental objects in each level, giving you tons of treats to spend upgrading every aspect of gameplay in Remy Lore. Firstly, increasing the chance that I can receive better one-handed swords, then upgrading my spells. Whoa, let's make store items cheaper. All these upgrades make you a powerhouse to be reckoned with, even if you're battling with a frozen banana on a stick. Although currently I've unlocked everything I've wanted to and have almost a million desserts saved up. I still need them to refill my mana, but I wish that there were many, many more upgrades to unlock as I continue to play through. Along with desserts, you can pick up mystery scrolls. These scrolls can help you out like filling your health or hurt you by lowering your max health. When having a great run with my favorite magic ability, I picked up a magic scroll that took my spell away and replaced it with one that doesn't work at all with my playstyle. Adding a nice variation to each run, these scrolls are your risk to take. This delightfully wacky game has a lot of lighthearted dialogue as you explore the story, but don't be mistaken. Learning the enemy attack patterns will take quite some time to get locked down, so expect to die quite a bit in the beginning. With each act having four levels, three regular combat playthroughs, and the last a boss fight, when you die no matter what part of the act you're in, you return to the first stage of the act, with a little less of your coveted desserts, but progression intact. At first feeling bummed I had to play through the first three levels of each act if you die at a boss, but it adds a balanced gravity to each life because you really want to survive that battle. Did I mention boss fights? Because the boss fights and mid-level boss fights are amazing. Every time that I found myself dash dodging bullet orb filled screens reminded me of a bullet in hell scrambling to get that perfect hit and I had a grin on my face from ear to ear while doing it. Even the regular mech monsters have enough enemy type variation and progression to keep you on your toes as you progress through this game. 
Playing mostly in handheld, this game was more taxing than most, so expect a faster than usual battery drain and a warm fan blowing switch. Bring that charger or an external battery if you have a long trip ahead of you because looting from level to level will definitely make that flight feel shorter. This game also does offer two player local co op. The game is fully voice acted in Japanese, which is rather nice, but gets quite distracting as Remy and Lore talk a lot during combat, and the large subtitles take up a big portion of the screen when you're at a bullet hell boss trying to dodge to save your life. And this game doesn't offer an English voiced option. Remy Lore was an incredibly surprising treat as the combat proved to be one of my favorite in a hack and slash that I've played in years. This very approachable combo system and magical counterparts make it easy to jump in and very rewarding to get good at. After playing through this roguelite four times already in different modes, I still have weapon classes to unlock and different gameplay modes to try. I do wish that the overarching progression system was much deeper to keep me really pushing through those additional playthroughs, but the incredibly varying weapon classes and new combos to learn make each playthrough a unique, procedurally generated challenge. That's why I'm giving Remy Lore on the Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Flannel Fox. Follow me on twitch.tv slash The Flannel Fox Gamer and on Twitter at The Flannel Fox. Be sure to follow and subscribe because the more followers and subscribers I get, the more codes I get, which means I make more videos. Thanks to Nikalas for providing me with this review copy. Thanks for watching my videos. And as always, see you next time, Switchers.